Hi there, welcome to Nappy Invest. I have been discussing step one a lot lately, and I have now another opportunity to discuss this company because that company released a trading update. Before I get into the trading update, I'll just give a brief story about my history with this company because I initially bought step one in August on a breakout, a beautiful looking breakout at 53 cents. And I've been debating with myself whether this is a trading stock or more or possibly a longer term hold. To test this, not this, this hypothesis, but to discuss or test whether this company is a longer or possible longer term hold, I decided to acquire or buy some step one underwear. I have heard some pretty good things. So I bought seven pairs at a 40% discount. The reason I bought seven pairs is because that's how you get the 40% discount. If you wanted a 50% discount, you had to buy 14 pairs. If you bought one pair, I don't think you got a discount. So I bought uh, the seven pairs of underwear during the Cyber Friday, no, Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales. And it took a while for that sale to go through. And in the meantime, step one, uh, maintain correspondence with me and they were quite apologetic about how long it was taking to get this order through and they did mention they were overwhelmed with orders which could be a good thing or maybe they're just making excuses and i'll talk about why that's important in a second and then it took another two weeks for me to get the package but that was australia's post problem for some reason it got caught up in australia post i have not heard any apologies from australia post yet step one have apologized profusely to me, which is good. I like their customer care. Uh, it seems like they care about me, and I think that's a good thing. I, Australia Post, maybe that's why they're struggling. They just don't care about their customers. Anyway, or maybe they could say uh, Step One's their customer, so maybe Australia Post did apologize to Step One. I have no idea, but I've had a really good experience with Step One. And more importantly, I absolutely love their underwear. And at this point in time, it was a bit of a risk buying seven pairs because maybe I would have hated the underwear. But at this point in time, I am not using uh, any other type of underwear apart from these other bamboo underwear I do have. Now, I am rambling on a little bit. I wanted to make sure this video was quite short. But when I saw Step 1 release a training update at 8.24 a.m. on the 18th of December, I was beyond intrigued by what this training update would say. I had a feeling it was going to be good because of what they corresponded to me in regards to they were overwhelmed with orders and they had to actually had to hire more staff. And that is a good sign. So this would be confirmation to me that they weren't lying and making excuses. So let's have a look at this training update. And to be honest with you, share price up 11%. So straight away, we know this was a pretty good trading update when the overall market was down. So let's have a look at this trading update. And it's a good update, without doubt. So first half revenue now to be expected to be between 44 and 45 million, a growth of 22 to 25% on the corresponding period, which was 36 million. And EBITDA now expected to be between 10 and 11 million dollars for the first half of the year. Last year, it was 7.5 million. They also mentioned here, they have achieved a revenue growth in all geographies, Australia, UK, and USA, with the best rate of growth in the United States, followed by the UK. That's actually quite exciting because if they can get some really good market share, increase the marketing in those countries, uh, this is a potential longer term hold. Uh, and let's have a look at the chart again. This is a beautiful looking chart. Uh, you can go back, if I go back a little bit further, horrible looking chart back in 2022, a well defined downtrend. Then the share price went sideways for the longest time. So it went sideways between May of 2022 and August of 2023. And then the share price broke out. And this is the definition of a, that was a definition of a breakout. This is a definition of an uptrend. And if the company keeps releasing positive financial uh, news announcements, the share price could keep going up forever. Uh, current market cap is probably around about $180 million. Even the dividend yield right now is a nice 5.56%. It says the price, price earnings ratio 19.61. But if the company grows like they have in the first half of this financial year, uh, that price earnings ratio looks to be quite small. So that's all I'm going to talk about in regards to step one. If you have any thoughts about this company, uh, leave those in the comment section of this video. Otherwise, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do need financial advice, make sure you seek out someone who's qualified. and can help you with your needs, financial needs. That's it for this video. Have a good day. Bye.